Hello there, this is Isix, and oh my god. We're still occupied. Fully. It's kind of awkward when you think about it. Uh, so yeah. Today's episode is going to be a little different, because we're basically just waiting until we can, uh, white pat piece some guys here. This war is going to be a bit longer. Actually, this might not be updated yet. Hmm. We'll see how it goes. Because, <laughs> uh, not sure. Okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. So, uh, yeah. So I might be uh, cutting a lot of stuff here. And uh, moving forward slowly. Let's go ahead, though, and make sure... Everyone who might be interested in uh, our our friendliness here are uh, sufficiently friendly with us. Now they're rivaling uh, rival rivaling us now because we got nice and big and powerful. Uh, these guys are not allied with us presently. Would they be interested? Netherlands at war. Give us uh, about fifty something. Neutral attitude. Yeah, maybe if we got them more friendly with us. Yes, uh, so we're just going to sort of... Good. Okay. Alright. Wait and see what happens. That's alright. Dang, Pomerania is powerful. <laughs> and uh, I'll maybe see you guys on the flip side. Yeah, we're still out with them. Alright, uh, we're actually going to go with the... Uh... This guy's so much better. And... Uh... So we got uh, status and power. So this will basically mean we're getting zero uh, Republican tradition per year if we go with the oranges candidate, but eh, who cares? The uh, oranges are technically in power, but uh, the influence is now back to even. So uh, we'll be back with you in a little bit. What do they want? No! No, guys. No. It's not how we're going to do it. Yeah, so I'll be back when we uh, get something interesting, alright? Alright, guys. Uh, a little bit further along. And uh, I think we're going to go with uh, go ahead and grab this idea. Uh, we could tech up, but just reducing that uh, interest will actually mean we're getting a little bit more income. Since we barely have any at all in this particular state of affairs. So, bookkeeping it is. Hooray! We now embrace humanism. We now tolerate the heretics. Sweet. Uh, and yes. So we're going to go ahead and uh, push forward. Uh, one interesting thing to note is that we actually got some uh, revolts uh, on the way here. Uh, will be pretty cool, because that will mean they're fighting these guys. And uh, yeah, using my tech to do it, so which is pretty sweet. Uh, still can't make any progress on our overextension. There's no point in reducing our war exhaustion, since it just pop right back up. And, yeah, so we're going to get back to uh, island here. Uh, not a whole lot's going on. We changed, moved our diplomats around a little bit, but uh, that's fine. I'm going to see if I can get an um, alliance going with Poland, perhaps. So uh, we'll see what's going on later. So we got an event here. Hear ye, hear ye. Let loose Pantaloon, Harlequin, and all the other stock characters of the traditional comedian Delart on your unsuspecting populace population and watch as they are entertained by the antics and shenan the shenanigans a good piece of comedy can make anyone forget for a while what their everyday lives are wasted away laboring under the yokes of tyrannical rulers plus it's fun uh, so we can lose some money get some prestige and lose some or lose some prestige oh I wouldn't mind getting a little prestige at this point just make things a little, uh, a little better um, sure, why not? Make it happen. Good times. Woohoo! Hmm. They're still, still quite angsty at me. Uh, there's still hope. While Netherlands is tired of war, there's still hope and pause the spear of the chest of everyone in the lowest peasants of Ludwig the first. We will get through this war and we will win. Hmm. Uh, do we want traditions or what? Traditions is kind of hard to come by, though they do decay over time. Hmm. Well, this is actually going to 
hurt the the bad guys here. So, uh, <laughs> what do you mean bad guys? Everyone hates me. <laughs> but so long, go my band of brothers. Come and we'll do things. Hooray! See you in a bit. Just bring you back here a little bit later. We can uh, unlock some more ideas if we wish. We can uh, get more uh, mer uh, mercenary equipment. Eh. I think it's, it's closer to the uh, reduction in admin cost there. Uh, Viceroy's on its own, not too interesting, but uh, getting closer to more colonists would be nice. Though I might uh, go ahead and just wait until we got, uh, you know, 800 there. We're also getting pretty close to unlocking our next military tech, which isn't all that useful right now, but, uh, you know, kind of nice. So I think I'll probably, uh, yeah, I think I'll probably just go ahead and grab this. Hooray! So we can get closer to this here. Uh, because getting that would be nice. But, uh, I don't know. I actually might as well grab this right now. Aha! So now we'll know exactly when we're ready to get the new colonist. And then we can begin our colonial expansion once again. And, you know, screw the Americas. We don't need... We don't, we don't need them. We could be down here. Or something, right? Though our colonial range doesn't quite make it well. Good. Spain's already got the prime real estate. Drat. Hmm. I guess maybe we can do something in the South American spots here. Maybe next to these guys. Yeah. They, they wouldn't dare coalition us, right? <laughs> hmm. Anyway, see you in a bit. Alright, folks. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, because I don't really have anything else to spend my... Uh, mill points on right now, so might as well not put them to waste. Uh, also, Spain has set up a colony next to uh, ours here. We already got the free shooters, Schweitzer, is it, is it cannons? Probably. Keep clicking on that. Uh, yes. Uh, we want our cannons to go boom. So, let's go that. Uh... This is interesting. Venice is becoming very, very big and powerful here. Uh, to the point that uh, Austria's like, ah, ah. <laughs> Tuscany is also kind of huge. Papal states are eating their way through Naples, which are free from their Castilian overlords. Otto, the Ottomans, the furniture people themselves, are digging into Egypt. Morocco and Tunisia are at blows. Merck. Uh, Maria. Uh, no. <laughs> Ma Makuria. <laughs> yes. Uh, Tamara Stand is a thing. Timmy is hiding out here. Muscovy is big and strong. I wonder, maybe I can get them uh, on my side at some point. But I'm actually uh, maybe aiming towards getting Venice and Savoy on my side. Because uh, if I get France back on board alliance-wise, uh, which should be possible, uh, then I'd be in good shape to uh, get them in... Uh, as well, because I don't think they have problems with France. Yeah. Um. So I need oh well, not the same religion. They went reformed. Uh, Dutch armor strength, trust, Dutch navy strength. Uh, let's get rid of a couple of those and maybe uh well, they they're a little bit easier. But I just need to get the uh, relations up a bit. Uh, what more? How's our religion look situation like? Got uh. Still very Catholic, which is a problem, I guess. <laughs> uh, Protestantism is spreading like a wildfire through the, the north here. And England is still being sort of schizophrenic about it all. Well, the Scandinavia is all Protestantness up the wazoo. Yes. So, back to the future! Pause recording, and right away there's another thing uh, here. Um. Let's go on diplomacy, which we kind of need, but we also need other things, too. So let's go with the status guy. Paul one Von Dassel. It's almost like Vin Diesel. Uh, Evangelical Union. Uh, Jacob the Protestant's confession positions at the Imperial Parliament. Protestant Imperial State form the League of Shakalama Ding Dong. The Joint Army and Treasury and Seeking Ties Abroad. The German Catholic states, feeling threatened by the new alliance, have regrouped as into a Catholic league. The state has set for religious conflict in the empire. 
Now this is actually a interesting thing here, because we got some people that might not like me very much on one side, and Austria, who also doesn't like me much on the other side. I'll have to think about it if I want to join one side or the other. I might just stay out, let them kill each other, because I can't really do anything to <laughs> contribute here. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, let things roll for a little bit, and maybe we'll uh, see what happens. Oh boy, looks like we got our uh, rebels up. Yeah, yeah, and they're gonna be fighting the uh, the bad guys here for a little bit. So we also got this thing. Eh, prestige. Who cares? <laughs> Let's see how they do. It's like they're gonna beat the peasants down pretty efficiently. Peasants are pretty weak as far as uh, military prowess goes, so uh, not too surprised. Uh, hooray! <laughs> military coalition can go screw itself into a light bulb socket for all I care. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, I got a diplomat free. I should probably do something like that. Uh, what are the peace deals looking like at this point? Don't seem to be getting any more length of war, which is a problem. So, it might be time my friends, to end it. End it now! Really hasn't ticked up at all. Huh. So all this waiting around's probably uh, been uh, worthless. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's uh, see about uh, end one of these fights. Which one's going to be less painful? Alright, uh, so, you really want Cleef. Guess that's acceptable. That's not part of the Empire anymore, so that's, uh, one thing going in my favor. We're going to... No, we're not going to return any cores. We're not going to release nations. Uh, war reps. Okay, that works, that works for me. Kind of. Uh, t -t -t they really, really don't want anything, do they? Hmm. They don't really have a lot in their control. Hmm. So who, who's this again? This is, uh, Burgundy. Well, if I wait till 1688, they won't care about it. <laughs> but, but, you know. How about you guys? What do you guys want? Let's just go suggest your demands. Alright, uh, huh. So you want me to release Gelra and give these things back to England? I don't know. Seems like a bad deal to me. Hmm. I, mean, I really don't want that. <laughs> that's unacceptable. Well, uh, maybe, maybe that's not too bad. Clay, I can guess I can deal without. Gelra, I can always take back later. Landerin. Hmm. I would really like to keep that. Utrecht. Get Utrecht. I could always eat them later. Plus, they won't have any aggressive expansion against me, so uh, they won't be joining any coalitions. Yeah. Now, I do kind of want these peace treaties to fire at the same time. Maybe I can get it so I can, uh, <laughs> double bill, as it were. Alright, so, let's, uh, clear off her real quick. So you want Cleef. Alright, we can do that. We'll release... Oh, because this is occupied by other people. Can't do that, then. Cancel subject, Trier. Alright. Uh, war reps. Any money, maybe? No, you don't want any money. <laughs> Jerk faces. Uh, t -t 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 turn cores. Alright, if I turn that to Burgundy, can I do that in the other piece deal? Burgundy. They want the other spot there. Because they don't have the same uh, control here. Uh, 
It's all sorts of issues. Now, Burgundy... Burgundy's pretty weak at this point. There are just a couple of provinces here. So... Are they in on any of these shenanigans lately? Uh, they are a coalition against me, but they are not at war with me. Hmm... If I just wait a little bit longer, they'll be a... Uh, <laughs> might about a little longer, 15 years. They'll be uh, out of the uh, coalition game. So I can just hit them and smack them up uh, properly. Alright, so that, that, that's going to be workable. Alright, I, I won't mind returning... We're going to... Clear offer, clear offer, okay. We're going to turn that to Burgundy. Because they are weak and babies. Hopefully, Province doesn't eat them first. Alright, what else do you need? What else do you need? Uh, war reps, that's fine. Uh, least nations. That's the subjects, of course. Trier, it's just a luxury anyway. Kind of pointless at this point. Uh, Gilra. Gilra's going to be a problem. All these. Calais to England. Alright, I can, I can deal with that. That's fine. Uh, just 10% more. Utrecht. Actually, in that case, screw England. Or I guess I can't. Hmm. I can't. Just so short. So barely short. Hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather fight Gelra again than, uh, than England. So, uh, so basically, I'll lose these provinces in Trier. Alright, that's fine. Now, for the other one... Okay, so I'll lose... I'll, I'll give up Cleef. Uh, oh, I, crap. I, I'd like to have my country still connected by two different ways here. Hmm... I'll, I'll, I'll think about, about uh, Galra then. Alright, so... We'll give up Trier. That's fine. Give some more reps. Now we're just about 30 under. Alright, and... Want another province to Burgundy. Okay. Still want 20 more. What else do you want from me? <laughs> Will they take money? Will they take a lot of money? No, they will not take a lot of money. Hmm. That's gonna be painful. But at least they're not HR anymore. And I can take them back, um, hopefully pretty easily. Yeah, about that. Alright, that will be just on the cusp. Let's go back to these guys. Offer tribute. And that's, that's the one I was just on. For tribute. Uh, Landers is too big. It just cost more problems down the road. Alright, uh, can we do something else? We can maybe do Ghent. It's a bit more... It's a lot more war score than we need. Hmm... Screw that a uh, bit there. Actually, uh, Utrecht. Come back here. Actually, Utrecht, you're, you're cool. We, we, we need to find a nice, perfect balance here. Perfect balance between giving up the ship and uh, total devastation. Alright, that should be workable. Right, and yes, we already got that going. So, we'll do these things. It'll cost Pomerania a bunch of Diplo points, but that's fine. And I'll lose a bunch of prestige. So we're going to send both these peace offers simultaneously to see if we can get Trier double build. If not, well, I'm a complete fool. Alright, we have sent that one off. Tribute. Yes, we're giving up Overlordship of Trier. Hooray! <sighs> Spore sucked so much. 
But hey, at least I waited a while and burned off some aggressive expansion, right? Alright. Uh, conquest that. Accepted, accepted. Hooray, it actually worked. Sweet. So this is still a core. And this is still a core. God. <laughs> this is a... Uh, I just need to make sure they don't get eaten by somebody else in the meantime. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. Eh, well. well. We'll eventually come to blows with England again. Maybe. Now, it's time, if we can, to repair our alliances. France, be my friend. Please. My god. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Uh, Venice was not interested in being my friend very much. Hooray! Who are they fighting? Hungry? Yeah. Uh, you're not interested. You're not interested. You're not interested. And I think you're rival with me, yeah. Austria, you still rivaled to me. Bavaria! You might actually get be able be willing to get in get on <laughs> on the, 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 the Holland train. How about the Ottomans? Oh not really. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, at least we got two big allies, and France is hopefully re nice and recovered. Uh, we do have uh, our war exhaustion's gone down completely, I guess, because reasons. Uh, we have our settler back, so let's go ahead and send him. Actually, let's go ahead and build a couple guys here. And yes, do I want to do this? Yes. All right. Now, hopefully, our uh, income will be nice and high. Uh, we could take more loans. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, because who cares? And we'll use that money to rebuild our army, uh, which we have not max manpower, but uh, we will be moving that general direction. Uh, religion. I can convert provinces. Do I want to? I'm not sure yet. Uh, I would like to get more automatic conversions going on here. Heck, you know, if England converts that, that'd be nice. Uh, <laughs> things are going kind of reformed over there. It's just... It's running out of places to convert, and... It's a lot of Senate Reformation right there. Or, uh, Yeah, reformed, yes. Uh, hmm. Uh, one moment, please. Alright, I was just checking something. Uh, how are things going here? Looks looking kind of one-sided. Yes. Hmm. Things look like they might be a coalition warring again. Well, uh, maybe, maybe things will have to move forward there. Now, it does look like I lost a bit of aggressive expansion, which is good. Uh, not as much as I would have liked. <laughs> Trier is very upset with me. Uh, Palatinate, uh, like maybe 30, maybe? Which is going to be enough for a lot of people, but uh, maybe a few. So Saxony will not be on the hate Izzy train anytime soon. Uh, maybe I get them on my side. Since Brandenburg is less interested these days. Dutch uh, armor strength. Well, it might just be because they think I'm weak. All right. Uh, let's get our army rebuilt. Uh, we want two, three, four. One, two, and probably a couple cannons. And hopefully we don't get attacked before those are done. Yes, we're out of manpower, that's why. <laughs> He's like, I, why can't I build things? All right, uh, take a day forward, hopefully, or everything's frozen forever. This is what happens when I leave my browser open in the background. Jeez. Yeah that so uh, how's everybody doing well we're uh, frozen in time and space here <laughs> Try, uh, the zooming feature is always kind of the most uh, glitchy one here and that in multiplayer uh, <laughs> speaking of multiplayer I don't know if I I don't quite decide if I'm gonna uh, make it live on my channel but uh, me and some of my friends including Bill who uh, some of you may know uh, if not where have you been uh, <laughs> Uh, they, you know, did a multiplayer game uh, on uh, you know for EU4 uh, on Saturday. 
Yeah, I did it. I streamed it on my my channel. Discovered an agent. Who? You tricked. What are you doing? Um, well, marriage with France. Sure. Let's get me. Let's be uh, all entwined with each other. Saxony, be my friend, please. Bohemia, maybe. Was it war? <sighs> get out of that war, and you're like completely under interested. Maybe I should make you my friend too. Now I don't really need things like claims right now. Plus, I just piss people off. Brunswick has entered the military coalition. Great. France, if we get attacked now, it's up to you to save the day. You and Spain. Now, Spain is kind of um, distracted. Oh well. <laughs> Gain uh, reconquest against Cleves. Of course. Uh, we lost claim on a province. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, we're, uh, that was the one we hadn't cored yet, right? Yeah. Oh well. We'll maybe strike it back later. Uh, Friesland has joined the Catholic League. Guess they're going foes of the Empire. Hmm. That would be one way to destroy them. Yes. Uh, speaking of destroying them, uh, I guess I could convert. Uh, so what would this do? It would give me some Nash ta tax modifier, taunts the true faith. Uh, Pulse Advisors, Talents of Heretics. Hmm. You know, this might be worth it. So what's my uh, conversion power right now, by the way? What's it looking like? So we got uh, three, five and a half. And development for these sort of things. So I guess this is <laughs> my own province there. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna see about uh, becoming a Protestant because I've never been Protestant before in this game. I've always hung out being Catholic or Muslim or Buddhist or whatever. So <laughs> let's go uh, Protestant, shall we? And thanks over here. Uh, lose 100 prestige, but that's fine. We don't have <laughs> very much to begin. Uh, remove that. Uh, Alright, uh, what do those do exactly? Uh, uniformity. So that gives us unrest reduction. Alright, so that will go away as well. So we will reduce our uh, missionary strength slightly, but uh, that's fine. Uh, what else do we got going on here? Uh, we gained a bunch of money because we like yoinked all the the the, uh, the, the stuff. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that reminds me, I need to build some boats. Uh, missionary strength versus heretics for about 10 years, which is very nice. So let's go ahead and become... Yes, that's basically the same thing. Uh, let's become Protestant, shall we? Alright. So now we got various things here. Uh, we can do this. Just stability costs, taunts, heretics, eh. Uh, missionary strength, taunts, heretics, minus one. Mm, it'd actually be worth it here. Sure, we'll become extra religiously. Uh, test act. A little extra power there. Uh, Popery act. Popery. What is this actually about? Um, uh, take measures to reduce Catholic influence by offering money to anyone willing to witness against a Catholic priest or bishop that has been apprehended for performing religious services. Sweet. We're all about that. So now we got a lot of really, really cheap conversion stuff going on here. Uh, so we got the stuff overseas, which is easy to convert. Got Mepin. Where's Mepin? Where's Mepin? Mepin? Mepin's over here. Uh, let's go ahead and start there. Uh, we only have the one missionary, so we do have to be sort of proactive about this. Uh, and getting as many done as soon as possible is good. There we go. Unless they're already being converted something. Ah, got something going on here. Oh, that's building cannons. Uh, yes, boats, boats. Let's build some boats. Let's build some boats down here. Cause I mean, really, so we're gonna be sending them out from anyway. Uh, and one up here. Actually, no. Actually, uh, let's let's build some boats here. Then we can have them all meet up with the colony. See what happens from there. Uh, we also can want to build up our uh, general fleet as well. 
coalition has forced me into do doing this. You fools! Now I'm going to be extra Protestant forever. Yes, or something. Uh, still uh, making good monies. Uh, we're going to hold off on paying back the loan. Uh, we got some church power here. We can show aspects of the faith. Uh, we Okay, so, so the thing with uh, Protestantism is that we'll sh slowly acquire church power. Uh, base power times 0.1 modified by that. Uh, religious unity is pretty low. And so the more more unified our country becomes, the, the better things are. Um, got uh, kind of high unrest, relatively, due to the whole being completely un ununified religiously. But that's fine. So we, th But when we get enough power, we can, uh, you know, uh, looks like 100 each one. We can uh, unlock these various aspects here. Uh, well, I probably need this one. <laughs> And uh, sort of tailor our our uh, our national uh, structure to the various various bits here. So if we want to go tall, this might be a good one. We want to become very unstable all the time. <laughs> if we want to go convert to lots of land, uh, we want to be a fighting force of destruction and awesomeness, or same thing but different flavor. Uh, possibly yes, less useful. Prestige, public tradition, go settle the places. Yeah, so we've got various options here. Some of them uh, better for certain, certain situations compared to others. All right, so we're Protestant. We are done with the wars. We are, at least for now. <laughs> we will eventually uh, strike back at uh, the evils of Utrecht, but uh, it's another 15 years and uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hopefully, but more. These guys get. Uh, well, these guys are in the in the league. They get allied with something. Ooh, what's this? Uh, some sort of religious turmoil. Uh, religious unity at least seventy five percent. And yeah, so uh, we're gonna get uh, this going forward. Uh, plus two each month because our religious unity is less than fifty percent. So we're gonna be see about working on that as fast as possible. Uh, let's join the Protestant League. Catholic, Protestant. Interesting. Sorry for the cut edit there. Uh, I still clicked outside the window. A bunch of things popped up. Anyway, we're going to probably uh, pause it here for today. Uh, and see you next time on more Europe Universalis 4, where I am playing terribly. But that's okay. Till next time, everybody. Toodles. Woohoo!